Oh, well, hello, Sagittarius. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. Sagittarius, it's about to be a new month, so I decided to do your March 2023 reading. Usually this read is pretty much just as long as the other readings. Um, I'm going to start with your finances first, and we are going to clarify that. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's get into it. We're going to use, of course, our money cards. <laughs> this is for Sagittarius. Let's see what comes out here for you, Sagittarius. We're only going to get three cards for Sagittarius. Okay. One more. Thank you. Now, at the bottom of the deck, I have unfulfilled. Now, we already know this, you know, this deck can... Uh, spread out through other areas in your life. So it's not just your finances, but for some of you, you're not really happy with the money that you're making, the amount of money that you're making, um, even, even where you work. You're just not happy there, okay? Some of you are in need of motivation here with Motivator. Um, on this card, it says, um, there is a skill you possess where you can share with the world, or you may be in need of motivation or inspiration right now yourself. OK, I mean, it makes sense because you have the unfulfilled um, card there. So for a lot of you, you are just not happy where you are financially. OK, the next card that I have here is recognition, but it's coming. OK, it is definitely coming in here with emotions. It says your emotions may be affecting your finances. So we're saying, you know, uh, you know how I'll say it this way. If you are and emotional turmoil, whether it's through a loss, a breakup, um, if you have emotional issues, meaning like if there is some type of bipolarism or something like that, and this is nothing to be ashamed of, that could be affecting your finances. Or some of you are, you are controlled by your emotions, which means if you're at work, some of you may get laid off or, you know, you're on some type of like, you know, when they're on write up. Because, you know, you couldn't control your emotions. Whatever it is, emotions are getting in the way of your work. Some of you have to take off work because you're just so sad, okay? Um, it is also says that some of you can be paying too much attention to your love life and ignoring your career, ignoring your money, all right? Now, we're going to go ahead and clarify these cards. I mean, every last one of them made sense. I mean, I didn't really hit the recognition um, because that's a self-explanatory. It literally says your money is going to start looking good and solid once you get your emotions together, right? Some of you are going to be earning some type of leadership or some type of promotion. Either way, recognition is here. And not all Sagittarius are going to experience that. Not everyone is going to experience, you know, having some type of emotional breakdown. A lot of you are going to have, you know, recognition in what you do because you're focusing so much on your career and on your job. But again, for a lot of you, you're just unfulfilled. You're just not happy with where you are. But let's go ahead. Let's clarify that motivator card with the Tarot and Oracle. This is going to be for Sagittarius. Thank you. First card came out was the five of swords. So this is conflict. This is, you know, a clash, maybe a clash with your boss, a clash with someone at your work or or con or um, inner conflict. OK, and this is what it says that your current path isn't leading you towards your happiest. There you go with the unfulfillment. OK. So it says, why not change it? That could be something that you guys are thinking about, okay? Um, in whatever situation that you're in, if there is some type of fight that says, always maintain integrity and compassion, but be aware of hidden agendas of others, though, okay? So for a lot of you, you're really not in this energy of feeling motivated because you have people who are fighting against you in some kind of way. Like, you know, it could be your, your spouse. It could be someone at your job. And again, you need to be inspired and motivated because you are feeling unfulfilled and because you are facing obstacles in your life. Let's go ahead. Let's get this emotion card. Let's put this here first. It doesn't matter what order. Let's get this emotion card for Sagittarius.
Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for a lot of you, there's a change coming, but you got the four of pentacles. Four of pentacles says be cautious about living a life of extremes or seeing things in black and white. You see what I'm saying? What are you spending too much of your time on? Are you are you feeling like, OK, life is a drag. You're holding on to holding a, a grudge towards someone. Or putting too much stock in what's happening or what has happened in your life where you cannot move forward. Giving too much emotionally versus building walls. And, and it says giving too much emotionally and also building walls that keep people out. You see why that four of pentacles came out? Giving too much emotionally. So for some of you, this is in relationships. You're giving so much you can't even focus on your career and your work. And for others... It's like this person have already came in, destroyed your life. And now you're giving so much attention to that. Again, you are emotionally unbalanced. This is causing some type of problem with your work and your career. There is going to be a positive change coming. Okay. It is destined for you to experience that. Okay. Let's see what comes out with recognition. Recognition. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, there it is. So it says, even though you may feel trapped in your situation, it says, do not be overly focused. Exactly. Do not be over overly focused on the things that you do not have and negative thinking. So here, and I'm only paying attention to this cat. Okay. There is going to be, I mean, you're going to be at this place where you're going to be able to afford what you want within reason. Okay. Um, and like I said, there is definitely going to be a positive change. There's great progress that a lot of you are about to make. You're going to be able to move forward. Speaking of which, look at this. <laughs> Speaking of which, will of fortune changes in your life for the better. So you're going to be able to get out of this unfulfilled energy when it comes down to your finances and your money. Okay. So that's what I see with your finances. Let's go ahead. Let's get into your tarot. Um, we're going to see what's going to come out here for you, Sagittarius. Now, of course, the tarot is going to be money and everything else, but let's see what comes out. This is for Sagittarius. Magician. Justice. I love the fact that justice has been coming out of your reading a lot. And this is sitting in your position. Seven of Wands. Let's get your last card. Three of Pentacles. There's your work. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Wands. Now, we are going to clarify this. Um... But, you know, I, I am going to tell you here with the magician, this is you building up the confidence, you building back confidence. Whatever has happened or occurred in your life, you need to feel like you're going to succeed. And you have the willpower and the drive to do it, which is what you're going to be doing. Part of this really is um, uh, part of your just your karmic justice. If things have been unfair in your life, things are about to be fair. Remember, we saw the will of fortune, things turning in your favor. This is also you gaining balance in your life. Remember, emotional balance, financial balance, because a lot of you, your money is tight. Boom. Your money is tight. OK. And I see two cards that talks about determination the and willpower, the magician and that seven of wands. Um, I see a new work here with the three of pentacles. A lot of you are going to be getting some type of new work here. OK. And there's going to be a burden that is going to be put down. Ten talks about a completion of, of worries, of troubles, issues, problems. All right. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely seeing finances getting better. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and clarify with these tea leaf oracles, um, these cards here. Let's go ahead and do the magician. Let's see what comes out for Sagittarius. I am seeing that there's a lot of fear, okay, that someone is against you or trying to do something to you or something like that, magician. 
So here with the magician, it says taking a vacation. So for a lot of you, you're going to be able to do that. And, and I see that this is going to happen in romance. You're going to be able to afford to do that with your money. Okay. So you're going to, you're in the manifestation manifestation stage where you are manifesting your finances, you know, vacationing with a partner. And I am seeing that. Okay. Some of you are daydreaming about that as well. There's going to be something so unexpected that you guys do not expect to happen here with money and with romance. Okay. So you're going to be able to take a break. Remember I said that there's fears and worry and tense situations. You're going to be able to relax. Okay. Because it's coming in here for you. It's meant for you to have. Let's go ahead. Let's get that um, justice card. Thank you. Yeah, there it is. Look at this. Change for the better coming in here because of that justice. That's what I said. Things, things balancing out and karmic justice here for you. And if there have been a dissatisfaction in life, we keep seeing this unfulfillment and dissatisfaction because your money has been so bad and because, you know, things haven't been fair to you. Yeah, that's about to change with this butterfly. You feel like you've been walked on. Remember, right before the butterfly changes, it's a caterpillar. You know, and you know how it is with people. You, know, you see a caterpillar on the ground. Not everyone is like, oh, the way they are with the butterfly, right? Some people run them over and just push them to the side. You know, so I am seeing that for a lot of you, you know, your luck is about to change. Okay. That is what I'm seeing here. And again, I keep seeing so much financial issues in your reading and relationship problems. For some of you, you've been having ill health. Okay. There's been a period of that. And that's going to change as well. Let's go ahead. Let's get these seven of wands. <clears throat> Look at this. <laughs> So I see that you're determined to be happy. And then I just say something about your health. You got well-being here. So, you know, the seven of wands is your determination to push forward through obstacles and, you know, um, trials. All right. And we kind of saw that with that five of swords because we saw obstacle trials. We saw clashes with other people, that type of thing. And because you are pushing, because you are pushing, Happiness and well-being is here. Okay. So you're going to get what you want, even in romance. Look at this. Two cards. You got romance here, celebration, and then you have strong desire. So I see that there's going to be someone who you're going to really have strong feelings for here, even with that emotion card. Let's go ahead. Let's get that, that three of pentacles. There has been a family loss for some of you is what it seems to me too. Ooh, you got temptation will test you. Oh boy. Okay. I didn't really like that too much. <laughs> All right. So the three of pentacles here, you guys are going to be moving on or you're trying to move on from a situation in, in your love life that has been tempting you. Okay. Um, you know, you should move on. You know, things have not been fair in, in relationships. And for a lot of you, there's always this energy where someone wants to, you know, stick around or someone wants you to stay. And, you know, with that apple, that temptation would test you. The universe is kind of is trying to tell you to, to move on from a situation that's not going to be progressive. OK, I think we've been talking about that for a while. But this is something that I'm saying because you guys have been so unfulfilled. So you're going to have to start rebelling against your own thoughts. All right. Rebel against that. I do see that for a lot of you, a vacation is needed. Vacation from your own negative thoughts as well. Okay. I want to go ahead and get more into your love life with um, the last three cards. We are going to have a, uh, a love reading later on. Let's see what popped over. Here it is, self-care, taking care of yourself, because here we're talking about balance. This is needed to be happy. This is needed for a healthy body. It says no matter what has happened before or how hard things have been for you, it says you can't deny yourself of some of, of some tender, loving care. OK, so this is what I'm seeing that you guys are doing. You guys are now taking care of yourself, focusing on you and not other people. 
because for a lot of you, you may have been taking care of family. You may have been taking care of, you know, multiple responsibilities and you've just been neglecting yourself totally. OK, let's go ahead. Let's keep going. <clears throat> so I am seeing that for a lot of you, you have been dealing with people who and we keep seeing this, this energy of ego. You see ego here and ego here. You're dealing with someone who is ego driven. They're stuck in their ego and that's keeping them unaware of who they really are. You may feel like this person really loves you and they may they may really love you. OK, um, but right now it's the sun, baby. It's all about them. OK, they love attention. And, you know, um, hmm, this is also recognition. Everyone seeing you here. I do see a lot of people are very interested in you. But as far as what's happening between you and someone else, they're they're very guarded. You know, you you're not going to be able to get past this person's walls because of who they are right now. They're they're still unawakened and undeveloped. All right. A lot of you are dealing with a, uh, someone who's very attractive, by the way, and someone who can get a lot of attention and very popular. Let's go ahead. Let's get the last card here. But you're very tempted. You're always so tempted. So here the universe is saying, move on from any toxic situation and open yourself up to new possibilities. Here it says there's potential that's going to be out there for you. OK, but you have to decide that it's worth you exploring because a lot of you are very much so stuck in toxic and a toxic connection. The person has been ghosting you. It's been a lot of highs and lows. OK, one minute they are so, you know, passionate. The fire is so hot. And then the next minute they're distant and they're very cold. Um, and again, there's this energy of feeling unfulfilled in your life. This has to change. So this is going to be pretty much up to you how you're going to change these situations. OK, but the universe is helping you because we saw the will of fortune. So a lot of things are destined to occur for you. All right. But this is what I have for your March. This is your March. This is what I'm saying for you in March, maybe a little bit into April. But this is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you back here again soon. Bye, guys.